Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you all are doing well. Remember when we first come into chapel, we kneel down very quietly, fold our hands and say a quiet good morning to God, thanking him for all the wonderful things he's done for us this week. And then when you're finished, just very quietly sit back. So if everybody could stand up this morning, and we will go and sing our processional hymn of Praise Him this morning. Everybody stand up. There we go. Praise Him, praise Him, all ye little children. God is love. said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. So everybody keep standing. We're going to light our candles this morning and sing Jesus is the light. Kind of went out on me this morning. Didn't it? There we go. calendar today to see what Sunday we have here in Pentecost that we are celebrating today. <clears throat> and so we're still in the season of Pentecost as we continue moving towards, yeah, that's right, Advent and Christmas. But today is the 11th Sunday, so we need to count to 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh-oh, I think I might have to start doing some exercises so I can make it all the way around for next Sunday. <clears throat> so, I've got a story about today's Bible lesson. It's about Joseph. And Joseph, um, he had a choice he could make. He could, he could choose to punish his brothers or for what they had done to him or he could forgive them and get back together with them. See, Joseph's brothers went ahead and sold him to a caravan on their way to Egypt one, uh, one day. And so it was many years later that this is what happened. Let me read exactly what happened from the Bible right here in the book of Genesis that we have. Yep, this is my Bible that I'm reading from right here. <clears throat> so Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? Joseph said to his brothers, come close to me. Come here, come here. And so they did. Then he said, I am your brother Joseph. I'm one that you sold into Egypt. But don't be upset. Don't worry about it. Don't be angry with yourselves because God told me to be here. God sent me ahead to save many lives. For two years now, there hasn't been enough food in the land. And for the next five years, people won't be plowing or gathering any crops. But God sent me ahead so to keep you alive and on this earth. He sent me here to save your lives by an act of mighty power. So I want to talk to you about forgiveness and how it is. And what I'd like to do this morning is give you an example of what we have about forgiveness. And maybe can understand this a little bit better. Yep, what do you see that I have right here? That's a lemon. Oh, it is so good when you have the ability to take this and put it with some lemonade. We're gonna take it and we are going to cut it up right here. And you can see this is a fresh lemon 
and this is so good. This is so good with lemonade. You just have to take this. Now, now I'm going to try it and taste it and see how it feels and tastes. Ooh, that tastes so sour. Oh, that didn't taste like any lemonade that I know. Like, whoo, whoo. Don't do that. Let me tell you. Ooh. But I know what I forgot to do. Let's go ahead. I've got another one right here. Another half of it that I didn't buy. Now I'm going to put some. This is some sugar that we have, right? I'm going to put some sugar. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of sugar. I got another one here, too. I'm going to put some on the other side. Oh, I can hardly talk with that. It's so bitter tasting and all. So now I got the sugar that's right on here. Now I'm going to try it again. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, that really tastes good. That sugar made it nice and sweet. You know, that first one was so bitter, but the second lemon was so sweet and tasted with the sweetness that we had. And that sweetness kind of reminds me when we forgive someone is how we feel. And God chooses to forgive us when we ask. And Joseph forgave his brothers for that horrible thing that they did to him. And God wants us to follow Joseph's example of sweet forgiveness and to forgive others. So let's remember what Joseph did and find the strength to forgive people who did bad things to him and to us. Amen. And don't just take a bite of the lemon because you'll do exactly what I did. So, if everybody could now stand up just like this, look through your little telescope that we have here, put our pinky in the air, and say, I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. We all kneel and bow. And we'll go ahead and say the Lord's Prayer together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming here. Let's go ahead and extinguish our candles this morning. Let's say our closing prayer. Let's say may God's Holy Spirit send the light from the altar into our hearts. To help us to say kind words and to do kind deeds through Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are going to have everybody stand up and we are going to sing our closing prayer this morning. He's got the whole world in his hands. Are we ready, Eric? All right. Very good.
May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you always. God bless you. Hurry back. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.